I'm Councilwoman Pastor, and you're in the heart of the city, District 4. I am here at ABC Mart with Lisa Hubbard. She is our neighborhood specialist. Hi, Lisa, how are you? Hello, Councilwoman. Well, we're here to talk about something very special happening in District 4. What is that event? The event is the World Bazaar. It will be on December, Saturday, December 2nd from 10 to 2, right here at 19th Avenue and Camelback at the Park and Ride. And what is the purpose of the World Bazaar? The purpose is to expose our community, our residents, to all the wonderful um, food, the different art, the different things that come to us from our refugee population and our first generation um, Americans. So it's really celebrating diversity and welcoming uh, refugees and first generations to Phoenix, Arizona. Absolutely. Well, who is sponsoring uh, the World Bazaar? I know Local First is part of it. I know the Inter International Rescue Committee. Committee. Doing, yes, absolutely. <laughs> and um, we have some other amazing uh, sponsors, including Vitalist. Okay. We have um, Dunlap and McGee, which are a property management company where a lot of our refugee community um, have apartments, and that's where they live. We also um, have LISC and Forza Lacau as, as our sponsors for this year's event. So this is really exciting. To me, this is a great opportunity, not only to show our diversity, but our ethnic cultures. The other piece is that we're on 19th Avenue in Camelback, where the light rail is, where it's definitely a hub where everybody comes together and connects and also uh, is able to collaborate. So that's what the exciting piece about this is. Very exciting. 19th Avenue and Camelback, within a one mile radius of this intersection, we have over 27 languages spoken. Oh my goodness. Yes. That's a and lot so, of languages. A lot of languages. And so it's the prime location for the World Bazaar to take place. Well, we have a vendor with us. We do. And it's uh, Tech, who is the owner of ABC Mart. Yes. And we are going to speak to Tech at this we moment. We are. Thank you so much. Thank Tech, you. would you join us? Hello. Hi, Tech. How are you? Good. You good? Could you please tell me about your experience of coming to Phoenix, Arizona, and what you decided to do once you hit Phoenix, Arizona? Uh, I came here in January 2009. Came at a very wrong time. There was economic depression, very hard to get jobs. I went to Walmart as a stalker. I worked for four years. As I was working, uh, I thought maybe I should start something with the help of my relatives and community members. We were able to start this store. So what's unique about this store is that it's all of uh, ethnic items from many different countries definitely part of the refugee population. As, as you did not mention, and I'm gonna mention it, you were a refugee coming to Phoenix, Arizona in 2009. So what you decided is what we call in the United States is to become an entrepreneur. And so you and other fellow refugees were able then to put your money together and open up this store. Because of the com community that uh, looks for particular thing was not available in the general store so we were out of compulsion looking for a place to organize ourselves and our food. So Tech right now I have a basket of items right here. So could you tell me where this is from? Uh, this comes from Nepal. It's a red flat beaten rice usually eaten as a snack. So this is eaten as a snack and it's from Nepal. Could you please tell me where this is from? Uh, this also is from Nepal. It is corn grits. The one that is available in the market is polenta, which is smaller in size. People want a medium sized corn grits. So. Thank you. And this is where I'm very much interested in. And I don't know if I... Uh, this is injera. And the Ethiopian community would love this one. And this is made from tape and then very, very good on the health, health part of it also. It is gluten-free. Gluten-free, this is great. Thank you, Tech, Thank you. for doing everything you were doing in the community. Thank you for being part of the World Bazaar. We will be back in a few moments to introduce a new project. Welcome back to District 4. 
on location on 19th Avenue in Camelback at ABC Mart. I am here to speak about a new project with Alia Almadid. Alia, please tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm an international student from ASU. Um, I come from Qatar, and I'm here today to present uh, a team of graduate school uh, graduate students from the Office of Global Social Work who are going to be uh, collaborating with the city of Phoenix to open up a store called the Global Market. Okay, so you're going to open up the Global Market. Where is that going to be and when? Well, you have to stay tuned to find out about our location. Uh, you can follow our Facebook page. Um, it's going to be, the grand opening is going to take place in March um, and it's going to be throughout the month before Easter. Awesome. Now, I know a big surprise is going to happen before March and yes. we're going to have a sneak peek of the holidays, of the market, yes. correct? Yes. Could you please explain that? So um, the idea of the store is to help refugee folks to become successful entrepreneurs. And we are inviting you and everyone at the community on December 15th at the City Hall in downtown Phoenix to come and be introduced to the refugees um, who are going to be selling some baked goods, uh, international handmade items, um, and which is going to be more of a sneak peek to our store, which will open in March. So on that day, which is? December 15th. So on December 15th, we're gonna have a brown bag also, and yes. we're going to have a dialogue and conversation regarding the refugee community. Yes, so you will be um, introduced to the refugees and uh, get to know their cultures, Thank you, Alia, for all that you have do, are doing for the community. Thank you to the graduate students that are all, part of this project. I really appreciate all the work that you're doing in District 4, but also for the city. Thank you for your help. Thank you for having me. You're in the heart of the city, rockin' District 4. Councilwoman Laura Pastor.